I just recorded over an hour and 20 minutes in 4K HQ, and I did it without an external recorder or a dummy battery. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Simon. Thanks for tuning in to The Ordinary Filmmaker. If you're new here, click subscribe to receive notification of new videos so you don't miss any news, rumors, or tutorials. And all the links to everything I talk about in this video, including gear discussed, are placed in the description down below along with my affiliate links. So if you're looking to buy camera gear and want to help support my channel, consider buying gear from BNH and Amazon.com. And if you're in Canada, give Patrick a call at Downtown Camera. All right, guys, I do apologize. There is some construction going on in the background, but I've got some very timely information that I want to give you. I just recorded my weekly Q&A video. It's about 70 degrees right now outside, low humidity. Uh, it's mostly sunny, but I'm in a shady area. And the, I'd say there's about, there's a bit of a breeze. <sighs> can we have a courtesy flush at least? So there's a bit of a breeze and you can hear the, re the trees rustling and everything, but I just recorded that video. It took 46 minutes and I didn't get an overheat warning. I stopped it at 26 minutes and then immediately started recording again. There was no wait. So towards the end of that video, I got up, I wanted to take a look was the camera giving me an overheat warning? Nothing. So I, I clicked the menu button so it would show me the time to record. It said five minutes. I thought that was really odd. Well, I, I ejected the CF Express card because it was pretty much full and I couldn't record anything to it and I didn't want to risk overriding it. So here's what I did. I then pressed the record button and recorded to the SD card. And it went for another 25 minutes. So for an hour and 20 minutes. Now it's recording to the SD card and there was about a minute between fiddling around and setting that up. But I double checked the settings. I thought, you know what, Simon, you've screwed up. You're not recording in 4K HQ. You don't have high quality mode enabled. It's not in 4K fine. And then I looked down here and I looked, I looked down and I said, yep, all I, 29.97 frames per second, 4K U fine, MP4. Yeah, it's recording in 4K fine. I was completely stunned by this because Everything I've seen in the past and everything that I've seen everybody else does shows that, you know, you might be able to get 40 minutes. And what I've been shooting in the basement the last couple of days indicates that, but I only shot a certain amount of time. I never really pushed it. So after recording it for about another 25 minutes to the SD card, and it's a V30 card, I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to record a video talking about my experience. And it probably took me two minutes to set up. So I'm recording this again, and I keep checking to see if I keep going. I'm recording this again after about two minutes of cool down. So I'm at seven minutes right now. I had to restart a few times because the, the drilling next door was getting a bit too much. But that's, that's over an hour and a half shooting 4K HQ. And when I went to start this, after stopping it, it said, oh, you still got five minutes left. But the funny thing is, when I went to record that extra 20 minutes after I recorded my Q&A video, it said I had four minutes left. So I recorded for about 25 minutes and it still said I had five minutes left. So I'm a little bit puzzled here. Now I've never really pushed this camera since getting firmware 1.1 and it's never really been cool like this. So the temperature right now is 69 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 18 degrees Celsius. There's a nice ambient there's an ambient wind. There's a nice pleasant breeze. Um, now up top, because I'm sheltered here with a fence in the house, but up top the trees are moving quite a bit. So there's enough airflow and it's not very humid at all. Now on the weekend, I did record my Q&A video, but it, while it was around 70, 70, might've been as high as 77 degrees, it was humid. So not the best for cooling things down, but this does feel very cool and dry. Um, I also called my friend up, Peter Gregg, and I said, Peter, I don't know what's going on here. Um, have I done something wrong? And he's, we went over things together. So again, let, let me read off exactly the settings I've got right now. So let me bring this up here. We're at eight minutes now. So that's, I've lost count. I think it's over an hour and a half. Recording the shutters 160. The um, aperture is 1.2, ISOs auto. Uh, 4K HQ all I. Now it'll say on here it's 4K U fine, which means 4K UHD, high quality mode enabled. And the kicker, I'm using C-Law. So it's not like the camera isn't working really hard here. 
it is. But it almost feels as though, because I'm, 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 I keep thinking I've done something wrong or I've set something up wrong, and I haven't. I haven't changed heat management settings at all. Um, Canon isn't like Microsoft. It does, doesn't sneak an update in the night. I'm using the EF millimeter, <laughs> the EF millimeter. I'm using the EF 50 millimeter f 1.2 lens. I've got my new variable ND filter on there, so could it be that? I don't know. The only thing I'm thinking, the only logical explanation for this is that the ambient temperature sensor is working so much more efficiently and that if you're working in much cooler conditions, much colder conditions, then you're going to get much better record times. Because that's the only thing I can think of. I mean, I'm really pushing this camera. I'm not trying 4K60. I just, and I don't, honestly, I don't really want to try it because the files are so much bigger. 4K30 is about the biggest file I really want to work with. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but yeah, I, I keep looking down here. I, sh I know I should look at you, but I keep looking down here because here's where all my information is. I'm using the Camera Connect app, which I tell you guys about. It works really good. I've already blown through one battery. That's how much recording I've done to try and get this thing to go into overheat mode. And it hasn't gone into overheat mode. The, 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 the least amount of record time I can get it to show is four minutes. And that was after shooting continuously for, what was it, 46 minutes? Yeah, 46 minutes and I shot another 25. Then it showed me five minutes of recording. Then I switched out the card. I'm recording this video and it showed me five minutes. So. It showed me five minutes, and I'm up to ten and a half minutes. This kind of changes things. Um, it makes the R5 much more usable. Um, I think it's certainly outside of the summer temperatures. So if you're in the tropics, if you're in Florida, if you're in a part of the world where it gets very, very hot, then yeah, you're not going to get much more than about half an hour of recording in 4K HQ. And then if you put it in a cool room, it'll cool down pretty quickly within about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. But um, it looks like if... Now, I'm going to test this further. As I mentioned, I live in Canada, so it's going to get much colder, progressively colder from here on out. By the time we get to the end of September, uh, we'll have frost warnings. We might even have snow uh, arriving. And I'm going to be recording these same videos outside, even if it's minus 20 Celsius or minus 20 Fahrenheit. It doesn't really matter. At that temperature, it's just bone chillingly cold. And I'm still, yeah, still recording. So we're, we're at 11 minutes now. I'm almost tempted to just let it go, 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 go. But um, I don't really see the point to that. The real point here is that I've blown way past 40 minutes. I'm not using an external recorder. I'm using Canon certified batteries. I've, I've got three Canon NP E6NH batteries. That's what I've been using here. It's standing on a tripod, so it's got plenty of ventilation. Uh, when I touch the camera, so when I hold it like this, so that where the grip is, where the fingers would touch, so if you touch right there on the camera, it's warm, um, but not overly warm, kind of like if you hold your girlfriend or your wife's hand or your boyfriend or your husband's hand, that kind of temperature. It's kind of nice and pleasant. It's not, ouch, that's a little bit hot. It's not like sitting on your car seat in summer when you've got black leather seats, it's not even close to that. And even the CF Express card, when I pulled it out after 46 minutes, it wasn't that hot. Now, when I had this camera a month ago, I was shooting a lot in the backyard, and sometimes after recording for about two hours, I'd pull out the CF card, CF Express card, and it was very hot to the touch. So I don't know what's going on here. Maybe this passive cooling system that the R5 has is able to function much better in temperatures below 70 degrees in low humid environments. Yeah, 13 minutes and we're still going. I feel like the Energizer Bunny here. Huh. So does this change anything for you? I, I'm, I'm really curious. I'd like to know, stop the FOMO if you're watching this. When you were recording 4K60, what temperatures were you recording in? Were you recording outside? Are you in the tropics? Are you in more temperate conditions? Um, I don't know if you've returned your R5 yet, but maybe you might want to see if you can reproduce these same uh, conditions that I've having here. Um, I, I, I just don't know what's going on here. 13 minutes, 13 and a half minutes, still recording. And honestly, I haven't let it cool down. I, I really haven't. 
this is just really, really bizarre. I'm getting a lot longer record times. It's, it's, it's almost as though somebody took my Canon EOS R5 while I wasn't looking, unscrewed it, took all the guts out of it, like you do when you catch a fish, pulled all the guts out of it, grabbed a Sony a7S III innards, put it in the R5 and sealed it up. Although the menu system works a little bit better, so that's probably not the case. But, And no, to be fair, Sony's done a great job with the a7S III and the menu system, but you know, old habits die young. So here we are at over 14 minutes. It stuttered here. Let me go see, is, is it still recording over here? Pick up my mic. Let's take a look at the back of the camera. Guys, I don't even have an overheat warning on the back of this camera. So we're now at 14 and a half minutes. Yeah, 14 and a half. So mu something must be interfering with the signal over 14 and a half minutes now and there's not even an overheat warning and it told me I had five minutes left so again temperature wise it's 69 degrees humidity is quite low um, there's quite a nice breeze here at ground level I'd say it's around 10 kilometers to 10 miles an hour uh, maybe going as high as 20 but I, I think I'm gonna stop it here because Let's see, 46 minutes plus 25 minutes takes up to an hour and 20, another 14 minutes here, an hour and 30. So somewhere between an hour and 35 and an hour and 40 minutes, I've been filming continuously now. In 4K, HQ, 10-bit 422 C-Log, 29 frames per second, all I. Other than trying 8K, I don't know what else to throw at this, and I don't really have interest in using 8K, so here's my little spin on 8K. Uh, I have an iMac Pro very fast computer and even that is is chugging along doing 8k i don't see that there's any benefit in terms of the capabilities i'm trying to put out there i think 4k hq is more than fine enough for me so that's why i don't see the point of testing 8k to me it's just not a file format that i have any any desire whatsoever to produce anytime in the next three years three years from now if i get a faster computer perhaps but the last thing i need to do is to increase the amount of time to extend my workflow, I'm trying to reduce that. So, um, yeah, I won't be testing that. But I'd like to challenge Stop the FOMO to try this in 4K60 and let me know what your temperature range is because, yeah, I've, I've blown past any limits before. I, and I almost feel as though the camera is just lying to me at this point. It's not recording 4K HQ or it's just there's an error and it's <laughs> there's some sort of bug or something i don't know uh but this is incredible anyhow guys thanks for listening to me ramble for the past good 15 minutes now um i'm just in a state of shock and disbelief because i've had this camera for a month now and i've never seen this level of recording except for using 4k 30 the normal not hq enabled uh, in 4K HQ, I've never gotten anywhere near this amount of time. So, um, yeah, thanks for listening to my ramblings. And uh, if you've got an R5, get out there and test it. Let us know what the ambient temperature is. Let me know in the comment section below. What's your ambient temperature? What's the humidity like? How much time did you get? Um, I'm not doing this to try and get a ton of views. Everything I'm telling you is the God's honest truth here. And that's why I'm so gobsmacked. I just... I keep looking down at you. It's still recording. It's now 17 minutes, but that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. Don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win the Canon EOS R5. Again, look at the description down below. I have a link to the video and all the details, but uh, thank you guys so much for, for supporting the channel. We'll see you again soon.